In June 2019, the MP Michael Gove, quite a senior MP, probably one of the most intelligent MPs in the House of Commons at the moment, uh, I know it's not saying a great deal, but really he is, admitted taking cocaine um, and joined other Tory leadership contenders in confessing to drug use. I took drugs on several occasions at social events more than 20 years ago. He told the Daily Mail, at the time I was a young journalist, it was a mistake. I look back and I think, I wish I hadn't done that. Well, this was in the final days of Theresa May's premiership. Since then, he's tried to ban laughing gas on the street, you know, from such a position of authority. And now uh, there's the story about Suella Braverman banning a father uh, from seeing his son, Mason, keeping the father in Ankara, in Turkey, uh, with very few funds, um, and, uh, and banning him from returning to his family uh, because he had a conviction for a short period, and, and did time, I believe, for a short period for cocaine. He did, uh, he did the time, he paid, he paid the crime, he did the crime, he paid the time, or whatever the expression is, uh, that should now be a line drawn under it, but it's not. For Suella Bravman, it's not. And I, I, I was rather interested. David Cooney, 3100, has said, does this mean Michael Gove could be denied re-entry to the UK as he's been in possession of cocaine on many occasions? Well, I think by the same principle, the answer must be yes. Surely, the answer must be yes. Um, it's a... Uh, the, I, I, I think um, the... The Guardian did an article some time ago where they talked about a rich thread of hypocrisy. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's just wrong. It's simply wrong. Gove has been the MP for Surrey Heath since 2005. Um, and his cocaine confession may have increased his profile but, they, but it damages his reputation in the community and in the broader Conservative Party. And I think if somebody, if the Home Secretary is going to be aggressive towards uh, people when they go out of the country without any uh, warning or suggestion that, uh, that they are in danger, then the same thing should happen to um, ministers of the Crown or former ministers of the Crown like Gove. There's no reason to exclude him. He should be, uh, he should be given the same um, treatment as um, as the fellow who's now languishing in Ankara.